Hello grade 4 pupils! Again, welcome to another episode of Valenzuela Live Mathematics 4 and we are now in quarter 3 week 7. Teacher Jan here, your math teacher for today from Roberta de Jesus Elementary School. But before we start, I want you to type in the comment section below your name, school you are currently enrolled, and your subject teacher for your attendance. Are you ready kids? That's great! Now, let us check if you are in good condition to learn again new mathematical skills today. Are you comfortable in your study area? Do you have extra paper or notebook for your solutions and important notes? If yes, let us begin. For today's lesson, you should be able to visualize the perimeter of any given plane figure with different situations. Find the perimeter of triangles, squares, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. And solve routine and non-routine problems in real-life situations involving perimeter of triangles and quadrilaterals. What instrument do you use to measure different objects? Do you know what appropriate unit of measurement and measuring tool should be used? If yes, let us have this activity. Identify what appropriate unit of measurement and measuring tool should be used to measure the following. Number one, edge of a table. Is it letter A, centimeter, ruler, or letter B, meter, meter stick? Your 5 seconds timer starts now. The correct answer is meter, meter stick. Good job. How about sides of a handkerchief? Is it centimeter ruler? Or letter B, meter or meter stick. Your five minute or your five seconds timer starts now. If your answer is centimeter ruler, you are correct. Next is one side of a textbook. Is it letter A, centimeter or ruler? Or letter B, meter, meter stick? You are right. We use centimeter as unit of measurement and ruler as measuring tool. How about number four? What are you going to use in distance around the classroom? Is it centimeter ruler or letter B, meter, meter stick? The correct answer is meter, meters, meter stick. You are correct. And lastly, length of a rectangular part. Is it centimeter ruler or letter B, meter, meter stick? Your five seconds starts now. The answer is meter, meter stick. What did you see at my back? That's right, it's a farm. What can you see in the farm? Yes, 
we see different kinds of plants and animals. If you will be given a chance to buy a piece of land in a farm, what will you do with it? Let's, let us read this word problem. Miggy bought a rectangular vegetable garden. He wants to put a fence around his garden. If the length of the vegetable garden is 150 meters and the width is 100 meters, how long the fence will be? Let us illustrate the given facts in the problem. Two sides of the vegetable garden measures 150 meters and the other sides measures 100 meters. You can find the total length of the sides of the vegetable garden by adding all the sides of the garden. What is what we call, or that is what we call, perimeter. Perimeter is the total distance or the total length of the sides around a polygon. Now, let us identify how long is the sides or each sides of the garden. First, is the length of the garden is 150 meters long and the width is 100 meters wide and to solve let p be the perimeter add 150 meters plus 150 meters which is the length plus 100 meters plus 100 meters which is the width 150 meters plus 150 meters equals 300 meters 100 meters plus 100 meters equals 200 meters so 300 meters plus 200 meters is equal to 500 meters therefore the perimeter is 500 meters we can use a formula in solving the perimeter of a rectangle. For example, P is equal to L plus L plus W plus W, where L be the length and W be the width. We can simplify it to P equals 2 times length or 2 times L plus 2 times width or 2 times W. Then, 2 times 150 meters, which is the length, plus 2 times 100 meters, which is the width. So, 2 times 150 meters is equal to 300 meters, plus 2 times 100 meters is equal to 200 meters. Then, add 300 meters plus 200 meters equals to 500 meters. The fence will be 500 meters long. Let us have another word problem. Miggy wants to put a square gate in front of its vegetable garden. How long will be the steel frame needed to buy if one side of the square gate measures 85 inches. First, let us illustrate the given facts in the problem. Each side measures 85 inches. So we can use the formula P is equal to S plus S plus S plus S or let S be the side length. Or, to simplify, P is equal to 4 times S or 4S. Therefore, 4 times 85 inches and the perimeter is equal to 340 inches. To solve the perimeter of the another polygon, we can use this formula. 
For triangle, we use the formula P is equal to S plus S plus S, where S is the length of the sides. Square, P is equal to 4S, where S is the length of the sides. For rectangle, P is equal to 2 times length, or 2L, plus 2W, or 2 times width. And trapezoid, P is equal to A plus B plus C plus D, where A, B, C, and D are length of the sides of a trapezoid. For your first activity, compute the perimeter of the following given objects. Number one. Your 15 seconds timer starts now. First, write the formula P equals 2 times length plus 2 times width. 2 times 62 centimeter plus 2 times 45 centimeter equals 2 times 62 is 124 centimeter plus 2 times 45 centimeter is equal to 90 centimeter. Then add 124 centimeter plus 90 centimeter, so the perimeter is 214 centimeter. Number two. Your 15 seconds timer starts now. Again, write the formula P is equal to A plus B plus C plus D. That is equivalent to A, uh, 75 centimeter plus 64 centimeter plus 82 centimeter plus 64 centimeter. And the perimeter is 285 centimeter. Did you get the same answer? If yes, you are great. How about number three? Your 15 seconds timer starts now. Okay, let us check. 
write the formula P is equal to A plus B plus C. 63 centimeter plus 85 centimeter plus 85 centimeter. So the perimeter is 233 centimeter. Let us answer number 4. Your 15 seconds timer starts now. Time's up. Okay, first, write the formula. P is equal to A plus B plus C plus D plus E. 42 centimeter plus 42 centimeter plus 60 centimeter plus 60 centimeter plus 60 centimeter. And the perimeter is 264 centimeter. Do you want to answer more word problems? Take a look at this one, then let us analyze and solve. Miss Josie asked her class to make a painting using handprints. The class was, a was able to make a painting which is 4 feet high and 5 feet wide. Miss Josie wanted to frame the painting. How long should the wood be used to frame the painting? Let us recall the steps in solving word problems. Step number one, understand. What are the given facts? From the given dimensions, the painting is a rectangle with 4 feet high and 5 feet wide. What is asked? The length of the wood will use to frame the painting. Step number two, plan. What formula will help to solve the problem? So the formula in finding the perimeter of a rectangle is P equals 2 times length plus 2 times width. Step number three, let us solve. To solve, first write the formula. P equals 2 times length plus 2 times width. Next, 2 times 5 feet plus 2 times 4 feet. 2 times 5 feet is equal to 10 feet plus 2 times 4 is equal to 8 feet. Then the perimeter is equal to 18 feet. Therefore, the length of wood will use to frame the painting is 18 feet. Let us try another word problem. A square tile measures 6 inches on one side. 21 of these square tiles are arranged neatly in three rows. What is the perimeter around the three row of tiles? To illustrate, a square tile measures 6 inches each side. There are 21 square tiles arranged in 3 rows. Therefore, there are 7 square tiles in each row. If they put together, these tiles form a rectangle. And to find the length, multiply 7 
times 6 equals to 42 inches. And to find the width, multiply 3 times 6 inches equals to 18 inches. Now, let us solve. First, write the formula P is equal to 2 times length plus 2 times width. 2 times 42 inches is equal to 84 inches. And 2 times 18 inches is equal to 36 inches. 84 inches plus 36 inches equals to 120 inches. Therefore, the perimeter around the three rows of tiles is 120 inches. I think you are now ready to answer different activities. Let's try to answer activity number 2. Comment the letter of the correct answer at the comment box below. Read and analyze the given word problem and answer the questions that follow. Type the letter of your answer. Lance rode his bike along a triangular park. The sides of the park are 28 meters, 34 meters, and 45 meters. How far does Lance ride for two rounds? Number one, question number one. What is asked in the problem? A. The length of Lance ride for two rounds. B. The length around the triangular part. Or letter C. The length of Lance ride for one round. Your five seconds timer starts now. The correct answer is letter A. You are right. Question number two. What are the given facts? A. 28 meters, 34 meters, and 45 meters. B. 28 meters, 34 meters, 35 meters, and three sides. Or letter C. 28 meters, 34 meters, 35 meters, and 2 rounds. Your 5 seconds timer starts now. What is your answer? Is it letter C? If your answer is letter C, that is correct. Question number three. What is the hidden question? A. The length of lands ride for two rounds. B. The length around the triangular park. Letter C. The length of lands bicycle. Your five seconds timer starts now. If your answer is letter B, good job. Question number four. What formula will help to solve the problem? Letter A, P equals to 4 times S. B, P equals S plus S plus S. Or letter C, P is equal to 2 times length plus 2 times width. Your 5 seconds timer starts now. What do you think is the answer? 
That's right. It's letter B. What is the number sentence? A. 28 meters plus 34 meters plus 45 meters times 2 equals N. Or letter B. 28 meters plus 34 meters plus 45 meters divided by 2 equals N. Or letter C. 28 meters plus 34 meters plus 45 meters plus 2 equals N. Your 5 seconds timer starts now. The answer is letter A. You are correct again. Number 6. How far does Lance ride for 2 rounds? Is it letter A, 107 meters? Letter B, 195 meters? Or letter C, 214 meters? Your 5 seconds timer starts now. The correct answer is letter C. You are great. Now get ready with your next activity. Prepare yourself paper and pen for solutions. Comment the letter and the answer in the comment box below. Let's start. Solve the following word problems. Diego wants to run around the park with dimensions of 15 feet, 10 feet, 12 feet, and 14 feet. How many feet will Diego run? Is it letter A, 50 meters? B, 51 meters? C, 60 meters? Or letter D, 61 meters. Your 15 seconds timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is letter B. 51 meters. You are right. Number 2. A picture frame has length of 30 cm and width of 21 cm. What is the perimeter of a frame? A. 51 cm. B. 72 cm. C, 81 centimeter, or letter D, 102 centimeter. Your 15 seconds timer starts now. The correct answer is letter D. You are right. 
Now, let us answer number three. What is the perimeter of an octagon that has sides of 12 millimeters? Is it letter A, 36 millimeters? B, 48 millimeters? Letter C, 96 millimeters? Or letter D, 120 millimeters? Your 15 seconds timer starts now. Time's up. The correct answer is letter C. Did you get it right? That's nice. Number four. A perimeter of a square tile is 160 inches. What is the length of each side of a square tile? Letter A, 16 inches. Letter B, 40 inches, letter C, 45 inches, or letter D, 50 inches. Your 15 seconds timer starts now. Okay, so what do you think is the answer? That's right, it's letter B. Lastly, number 5. The perimeter of a rectangle is 120 centimeters and a length of 45 centimeters. Find the width of a rectangle. Is it letter A, 19 centimeter? B, 38 centimeters, C, 90 centimeters, or letter D, 110 centimeters. Your 15 seconds timer starts now. The correct answer is letter A. You are great. To sum up, when we say perimeter, it is the distance around the polygon. We simply add the measurement of all sides to get the perimeter of a given polygon. Here are some examples of formula in finding the perimeter of some polygons. For triangle, P is equal to S plus S plus S. For square, P is equal to 4 times S. Rectangle, P is equal to 2 times length plus 2 times width or 2L plus 2W. 
And for trapezoid, P is equal to A plus B plus C plus D. And we follow these steps in solving problems involving perimeter. Step 1, understand what are the given facts and what is asked or the hidden question. For step number 2, plan what formula will help to solve the problem. And step number 3, solve. Show your solution. Step number 4, check. For your home learning task, answer the given activities. If you have any questions to our topic today, your subject teacher will accommodate you during your online follow-up discussion. That's for now, kids. Thank you for your watching and participating in our activities. I hope you learned a lot from our discussions today. Again, I am Teacher Jan saying stay safe and healthy. Goodbye!